Yeah, hello everyone, it is Omega Zero here, and I am back here once again with more Bayonetta. Now, I've done a lot, and I mean a lot of grinding while I was off screen, because I wanted to get a uh, some particular items. Now, if you're like, oh, Omega, like, what items were you trying to get? Well, you'll see, because you needed to either complete the game on a certain difficulty, I uh, you need to beat this on something that's not normal, or you need to know the cheats for sub, uh, to get these items early. And in order to do that, you need to do a lot of grinding, because the difficulty on these modes to try and get them are quite difficult. But anyways, uh, we are still on Chapter 5. The Lost Holy Grounds, because in the last episode we defeated Fortudo. Anyways, let's start. Chapter 5, The Lost Holy Grounds. And you'll see, I'll show them off. Trust me. As you can see, it's a uh, pretty, uh. Uh oh. Where the so hell cutscene. Am I? I'd better have got frequent flyer miles for Or, that. I'm not sure. Like, are we. Are so, there we go. Okay, so let's show this off real quick. I have these two weapons. These two weapons you can only get by, um, you can only get this weapon, Pillow Talk. Ha, oh my. You can only get this by um, getting it, beating the game on nonstop Infinite Climax, which is the hardest mode of the game. Uh, comparison is like Dante Must Die mode or from Devil May Cry. Anyways, let's look at the description. Thus for the demonic being, uh, Mahavarakana, said to have seduced women by whispering sweet nothings during their dreams. Pillow Talk has an incredible angel killing power thanks to Rodan's conjuring abilities. The demonic power summoned from the portal at the weapon tilt make, takes the form of a strangely glowing green blade of light capable of slicing foes cleanly in half, so, i.e. it's a lightsaber. And then we have this weapon, called Bazillions, four guns created by unknown super civilization, Powered by an energy source known as Basilium, the deep crimson flash from his guns instantly break down the molecular bonds within its target. Able to discern the intent of its user, it said that these strange, miraculous guns have the power to open a portal to another dimension. Thanks to Radon, the guns have also have also ha also have gained demonic powers, making them incredible threats against denizens of parody So yes, uh, you get these by inputting the passwords at one of the weapon um, payphones in chapter 2 um, those the far left one is a, the weapon one the middle one is the accessory and there's another payphone all the way over where Luca was which is for characters now uh, you can only get this one on hard mode and non-stop infinite climax but if you do if you have a million halos you can get them right away if you're wondering how I did it I basically just did chapter prologue chapter one chapter two and chapter three all continuously over with the gaze of despair which makes enemies harder to die, kill but they are infinitely uh but they give you more combo points anyways i also found a new technique hold right bumper with this uh sharaba or with pilota and you unleash a mighty beam or if you hold it uh halfway you, uh, you unleash, uh, get to get ten show. <laughs> and for bazillions, uh, you can hold it with the gun variation. And it will charge and unleash a mighty blast. Anyways, look, these, uh, Crescent Sunrise Valleys, you can pause these at your will and read them if you so choose. Me, on the other hand, I'm just gonna go through this. And if my health or magic seem higher, it's because I actually went back to the other chapters and found those missing portals, i.e. the one in uh, chapter 3, which you had to shoot a can, trash can, like that first spot in order to open, which is bull. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, show, let's start showing off the weapons. I am going to enjoy this way more than I should. Oh, God! But, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> yeah, th these are some of the strongest weapons in the game. I'm not even gonna front. Like, if you're using these weapons, you... I have only done something like this once and I was in Devil May Cry 3 because I had absolutely no life. 
<laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands during summer vacation. Anyways, uh, beat that. Go over here. But I might be wrong, because here's the thing. Um, we want to go over here because I'm not sure if a, if a portal opened up because I do know, like, the Alfheim portals are really finicky on when they want to open up and when you want to meet certain conditions. Which is dumb, in my opinion. Like, oh, shoot a trash can. That's really, really stupid in order to unlock certain missions for the Alfheim. And it's necessary because if you want to complete certain things, you have to do them. Anyways, go up here. And we'll get introduced to our next new enemy types. The duo of red and blue, grace and glory, which are virtues. Oh my god! Okay, hold up. Yeah, I'm taking this shit off. Screw that noise. Nope. Oh no, you are suffering this one. I need like this, boys. Anyways, you wanna turn this? Boom! And stabby stabby. And grab the red one. The red one's infinitely better in my opinion. And then, bam, we get a piece of an LP. And it looks like it's broken into fourth, this one. Yeah, we got silver mantle on this one. Trust me, that was more annoying than it really should be. Anyways, uh, so not in DK48, and it's merely a piece of a full record. Yeah. There's not a lot. Um, uh, some of the weapons for the LPs, like, like this is part of the Kilgore. This is part of the glitch that you can perform with Bayonetta. And to be fair, like you are looked up down upon. But uh, here's the thing: I'm gonna play that song. <laughs> um, I don't give a. F <laughs> um, I play these games. I play games for fun. And if I can break them, that makes it all the more fun for me because I have beaten Bayonet on the original Xbox 360. It's just unfortunately not here. Here's which time. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Okay, hold up. Now I'm putting it back on. Because it, it just enrages them. It actually gets them to attack all which is good in my point. Let's go! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, there is no wicked loot for pillow talk. Uh... It, it trades that off for power, is the thing. If you want power, you go with it. But if you want um, reliability and longer reach, uh, you go with, uh, uh, with Shiraba. And I'm probably gonna use this to regain more magic. Mana. Mana. I don't know. Uh, health because this actually restores my health. Oh no. Oh fuck. Come on. Let's go. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Gosh dang it, okay, yeah, that's the problem. As soon as I defeat the other ones, I'm gonna have to, like, immediately take this off. Because Grace and Glory are just annoying to fight because they're so hyper-aggressive. Anyways, we're gonna have... Do I have an 
No, I, no, I do. Because it just resets the fight, but it doesn't reset my fight. I don't really care. Oh, that's a bull! Glory are annoying enemies. They're not the worst, but definitely because they're so aggressive. Would I put them above like the fairness enemies? Eh, like fairness, you get. Oh come on! Are you? Oh my goodness! Oh come on! Come on! Uh. Gosh, fucking dang it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cut here and then I'll come back when I actually do this. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I actually beat it. And good lord, that was more annoying than it realistically should be. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Not that good on my part, but bam, got, got another broken moon pearl. And with that, we will become one step closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna take off the Gaze of Despair, other than for like early chapters. Because, like, good lord, like, some of these enemies now, like, fairness, I've gotten used to. Grace and glory, I have not gotten used to yet. So maybe with time and practice, who knows? Maybe I'll, like, get better with them. I don't know. Come on. Alright, GG. Cannot wait till we basically get our faster run option because good lord, Bane is like the bolt walk speed is actually pretty freaking slow. Okay, so. Right, where's four? Oh, God! Okay, so you actually do have a time limit here. I'm just purposely waiting. Come on, come on. Woo! <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. This is four. And now we have a new cutscene. Time for me to shut up now. Huh. My lipstick. Without lipstick, but lipstick without a girl? 
Most curious, isn't it, Cheshire? What's also most curious is how a child like you has kept afloat in this town. The name is Luca! And don't you think it's a little strange to be worried about my well-being? Sure, the Festival of Resurrection has peaked security. The thing only happens once every 500 years, can you blame them? Besides, when you look as good as I do, security isn't a problem. But a killer like you, on the other hand, I'm sure you've found a way. That little girl? I've seen her somewhere. Hey, don't go freaking out on me. We both know you came here for something. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's going to be for you to get away from me and what you've done. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess, you want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then, perhaps you can appeal to my generosity. Still alive? You may be standing right in front of me, but you're definitely not living in reality. Which is a shame, because the truth is always going to be the truth. All I see when I look at you, the real you, is the truth. The truth is, you killed my father. I don't care who believes me. They can't reject the truth. The truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth will allow me to expose you <laughs> to the many world. How do you think they need to get right now? I'll have one. Probably none. It's paying more attention to lipstick than him. And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Because I'm not a heartless witch like you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you gonna do? Kill me in plain sight? Go ahead. It would only prove everything I've said about you. Well, that and sadden the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire, and Trish, and Sylvia, and Amy. Oh. You don't want to piss her off, let me tell you. Hell hath no fury. <laughs> All the Sega references along with Capcom. And... <laughs> oh my. What the? that are far away but too annoying to reach use uh, use bazillions I probably would have put the code I'll probably put the code up here for actually what it is on the Xbox because that's what I'm playing on but I'm pretty sure it's still the same on PlayStation because the PlayStation is uh, with like the corresponding buttons <laughs> 
Okay, by the way. Uh, you want to avoid... You want to... Yeah, because guess what? They'll do that. They'll drop. They'll just they'll definitely drop you right there if you aren't fast enough. And by the way, expect to see like less platinums and all that for right now. Anyways, go over here. Bam! Another umper tears of blood. I'm not gonna grab all of them, but if I do grab all of them, like you do get a pretty good item. Uh, heavenly manipulators. They manipulate the heavens or they manipulate people from the heavens. I don't fucking know. Anyways, you can read this at your leisure. Pause and read all that. Let's exit out. And... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Anything else? Nope. Push a button. Yes! <laughs> hey, let me turn that. And we change... Somehow change the night cycle from day to night. Cause... You, I guess? <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to jump in terms of uh, portals now, because I believe the last one we just got was verse 4. I believe we're going to jump to like verse 6, maybe even verse 5, I don't know. Anyways, you want to jump through here. Oh, nope, we're on verse 5. So you want to kind of go through here and get as many of these little guys as you want, because Vayne is just drop kicking herself from the head to get to the other spot. And you want to hit as many of these little punks of uh, you as you can. And I believe we hit all of them, or at least most of them. Are you going to get an introduction to this? Oh no, it's just more great stories. Oh, come on! Oh my goodness. And now we get introduced to the new enemies. Yay! These enemies are... Harmonies. Yay! These are another enemy I don't like, but they don't show up as much. Oh, very annoying. No, I'm gonna break the weapon right now, because... Disturbing, but a really funny kind of torture attack, which is morbid when you think of the way that you send it down. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, bronze with metal. Yeah, we did not do good that one. Alright, so you got another Sonat. Merely a piece. But I think that one's half, so we might need to collect one more. And we just break this open and get another broken witch heart. Ah, break. And just kind of. Can we break this? Like, I, you just kind of need to break sure, like, you can check everything in your environment. Because, like, almost everything, like, yeah, like, that's breakable. Like, most things are breakable, I should say. Anyways, you got typhoons or whatever, like, mini tornadoes coming up here. They're annoying, but you can run past them fairly easily. Like, pretty sure we got them past all of them, but yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we go down here. Because you probably wouldn't expect it if we didn't get that little zoom out. Uh, the Witch's Tears of Blood. Read this at your leisure. Pause and confirm if you want to read. Alright, so let's get out of here. And you want to break up from this. If I did suck. <laughs> Anyways, get this. Now the Broken Moon Pearl. Bam. Gives us more magic, and let's go to enter the gates of hell. Ow, freaking finger!
You really want to make a deal with the devil? <laughs> Relax. I'm just fucking with you. Man, I love Rodan. He's so cool. Anyways, uh, we still have, don't have anything for treasures because that will come back later. Uh, let's go for items now. Because now you can start getting like the mega items and this. I believe the red hot shot shows up when you first die, I guess. Um, this is essentially just a continue. You can only have one at a time, but the thing is, you probably don't even want to use these. Because it counts for an item usage and it counts your death, which is really dumb. Because other games will just count, like say Devil May Cry, it will just count your death if you use a golden orb to revive. But with this, uh-uh. Anyways, let's just get some more magic. And I could literally just grind up more off screen, like more halos, which I'll probably do if like, I run into the issues. Anyways, that gives us what? Three bars of magic? But we still have more to go. And you know what? Let's just get a mega green herb. Just in case, because you can show these off, it gives you just like a big old thing of health. It's like mega green herb. <laughs> okay. uh, let's jump down here. Oh, wait, you can't. But uh, let's break this. Break that. More magic. Nothing from that. Screw you, game. I'm kidding. Okay, so now what you want to do is that you want to break some of these. Because you never know. Like, you might get some help from here. But no, oh my god, it's magic. Anyways, you want to jump from up here because it's a high enough height, and bam, you basically want to Goomba stop this. Now, I'm not sure. Like, I can't see all the way down there, but. I don't think like an Alpine portal showed up. Like I'm not sure. Like in the previous ones I really wasn't sure. I just kind of explored, but now like I'm really not sure. Like we've entered the territory of stuff I'm like, oh, I really don't know if I'm close to it the top or not. Anyways, uh you wanna go? Jump up here. Do -do 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 and guess what? We get a new enemy type. Because good lord they just throw these things at us. I do actually kind of like the design of this one. It didn't look so over... Not over designed, but it looks like it has way too much armor on. Anyways, this is the Adores from Principalities, I guess. Oh, you want to go with... Oh. <laughs> oh, I got one too. I got another one for you. Ow! Heck sword. Anyways, that was verse six, so I'm pretty sure we're on the right path. For, ooh, full moon. We need to get this. But we got a gold medal. Yeah, our combo wasn't that good. I'm not gonna put on the gate of despair anymore because, good lord, I don't have the health for that, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I don't have the skill for it right now. Okay, let's just pick some of these. And as you can see, there's some areas that are starting to break with uh, fire. Anyways, uh, don't touch them, because, uh, fire hot. That is a trigger which time. Hey, remember that torture neck I was talking about? You're a dirty chainsaw, boy, uh, ha ha that's why, because you're coming over again. And saw that figure it out. This, I chopped this thing in half. Come on! So, you know what? I think it's finally time we use an item. I really don't care at this point. It does even restore a big old wall of health, but I'll take it. You know what? Screw it. You know what? I, I'm sick and tired of this weapon. But our combo game was actually pretty nice. Anyways, you want to go back down because guess what? I'll find the floor to show that. 
I don't know why you keep throwing these things <laughs> at me. I hate it at times. Because, like, they're ridiculous on the requirements. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, this is gonna be the first new one I've done in a while. And I think I'll probably cut it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Hopefully that didn't mess with the card if you didn't. Okay, good, 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 good. Anyways, let's this one. Stay in here. Okay. So I need to switch up my eyes real quick. So we're going to take off the zillions real quick. And we're going to I just do this. And you gotta stay in the air for a minute. And It's not that difficult to just really just use Koshaga and hold B. Uh, yes. Yeah, just hold Y, not B. And just keep jumping with Koshaga off top of the enemies and, and just keep doing this. It's not that difficult. And you can get some ridiculous height. Look, I'm constantly double jumping, and the enemies are coming up with me. Like, look at this! This looks good! Look at this! They didn't have to design all this stuff here, but they had to! Look at this! Look how high we were! It was ridiculous. And we're all the way back down here, and then you actually can see, like, the, uh, the effect of the, what, the perfumes? Uh, when you equip, uh, Beta becomes more of a dominatrix type with that outfit on. And we're going to change the items back to the bazillions. And with this, that gives us another broken witch heart. Which means we are now closer to completing the health pool we have. Because like, we bought all, everything we can from Odon. Like, all the health. That's gone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that will be the end of this part because we're pushing like 35 minutes now. So with that everyone, my name is Megazer, I'll catch you all later.